Um, StoryCorps started about 10 years ago in New York at Grand Central Station. They had a booth similar to the booth here, and people would come in and sit down and have a recorded conversation. Um, as it's developed over the years, uh, we've got a relationship now with the Library of Congress. There's an archive there uh, called the American Folk Life Center. So if people come in, they sit down with somebody that's important to them, have a recorded conversation of approximately 40 minutes. We take some photographs of them uh, in the booth. And uh, if they agree, they sign a release. And a copy of the recording and the photographs we take will be archived at the Library of Congress. And the idea is that uh, people will be able to learn about the stories and backgrounds of other people. Um, right now, you can't get those stories on the internet. but mostly researchers, academics go to the Library of Congress and they can access these recordings and hear about uh, people's stories. We've done, I think there's close to 50,000 um, that we've recorded. Uh, we've done over 2,300 here at this booth. We also have portable equipment. We go out to um, different facilities, uh, senior centers, uh, schools, and do recordings in the field there. Not everybody can come into the booth to do their recordings. And we're trying to reach out to get a representative sample of stories from people that may have come to this country from other parts of the world, um, people that have lived here a long time. Uh, people come in with somebody important, maybe a family member, perhaps somebody they've worked with, a teacher, um, and sit down and just talk about whatever they want to talk about. We don't have any format that people are supposed to follow that can be a conversation, sometimes it's an interview. And people uh, often open up and share things that they would not share in ordinary daily life. Uh, we have people I've seen um, that have known each other their entire lives that they'll find out something new about each other and they have an opportunity to tell the other person something maybe they've never told before. So we have people that have come in. Um, we had a couple that came in from City Hall. They'd just been married. They came in in their uh, wedding clothes, and the first thing they did was come in and do a recording. People will celebrate <clears throat> a relationship, perhaps an anniversary. Um, we've had people. We had two guys that worked on the Golden Gate Bridge, had worked together for 25 years. They came in and talked about their friendship that's developed over this time. Um, and uh, they became very close friends and uh, uh, they, they shared their friendship. And uh, I've always been surprised by these people that, um, just ordinary people, but something remarkable has happened in their life. and they have a chance then to share it and uh, they get a broadcast quality CD when they depart and they can make copies, they can share it with their family. Um, I tell them to put a copy in a safe place for future generations and um, there's also the um, archive at the Library of Congress too. So when people come in they realize they're recording for posterity, for history and a lot of times that makes them um, share something really special. So that's the, that's the idea of StoryCorps. And um, we hope to continue here in the Bay Area. We have a booth in Chicago that just opened. There's a booth in Atlanta. We have a trailer, an Airstream trailer, that travels around the country. And it'll park for four or five weeks in a town or city. And usually connect. they connect up with a local public radio station. And uh, they do a whole batch of recordings um, there and a lot of people are here on the radio every Friday morning um, on public radio on a program called the Morning Edition. They air a new clip that's been edited down from a 40-minute recording and um, they're usually very engaging stories. They're the kind of stories that will either make you laugh or sometimes bring tears, but they're very um, wonderful ways to hear about the lives of other people. And um, um, we're celebrating our 10-year anniversary this year. StoryCorps started 10 years ago, and it spread. Uh, there's, it's the largest oral history project that's uh, going on in this country at the present time. And um, 
We uh, hope to continue and uh, expand and so more and more people can hear about StoryCorps. Uh, uh, we started a, an event the day after Thanksgiving in November here. Uh, day after Thanksgiving is uh, a day that we want people to get together. A lot of times families are together. Might be the only time in the year people go to their hometown, see old friends and uh, get people in the habit of sitting down in a quiet place and sharing a um, conversation with each other. Uh, we call it the National Day of Listening. And um, we've uh, got another book coming out later this year on the theme of families. We have three books out. Um, the first one is kind of our slogan. It's called Listening is an Act of Love. We've got a story, um, uh, a book about uh, stories about mothers, it's called Mom, and um, another book about romance and love called All There Is. There's going to be a new book out about families and then next year perhaps one on the theme of work. And we're working in the tradition of Studs Terkel who was an oral historian. He wrote uh, numerous books um, telling uh, people telling about their lives uh, sometimes with a theme of uh, World War II or the first book I read of Studs was called Working and it was a tremendous experience to read about it and hear how important work can be to some people and how much of their heart they put into their work. Um, so uh, we hope to continue and uh, be a, more of a part of uh, American life and sharing stories, preserving stories and um, StoryCorps is great. We love working here and we meet wonderful people. Okay, thank yeah. you very much. Thank you. Thank you.